Hey there guys, it's Rick Utsu here with Airgun Web, where we tell you the facts, not fluff. And today we have the Umarex Hammer. This is sent to us by Umarex USA. Definitely want to say thank you to those guys out there. So what do we got going on here? Well, this is pretty timely, frankly. Uh, we have a live show. If you guys want to check it out, come hang out with us. We live stream every Tuesday. Uh, Tuesday, 6.30 Mountain Time. Most every Tuesday. Sometimes I'll take a day off. But most of the time we're there. We have a good time. Angie's usually there. We have some other folks here in the chat, some regulars. And we kick around, you know, stuff about air guns. And we talk about topics of the day. It's a really kind of fun time. So join us there if you want to come up and hang out. But this is an interesting and timely sort of arrival. I've had this in the shop for a while, been meaning to get to this unboxing. Um, we had a question. Uh, what's a good rifle for hunting? Deer specifically in the $1,000 to $1,200 mark. And we went around a whole bunch of things and it came down to... Oh yeah, the hammer. We need to be talking about that a whole heck of a lot more. Now, I don't have a lot of big game hunting opportunities where I live. Angie does, and she does a great job. She's got deer kills, pig kills, all kinds of cool stuff she's done with the hammer. Um, I've just target shot with the hammer. It's a lot of gun to go out and just shoot steel targets with. But they've got some changes. Uh, this is, I guess, got all the new goodies uh, that if you buy one today, you get like, all of the new revisions, and it's all internal stuff, mostly. Um, all the stuff that makes it a great air gun. But we're gonna talk about specs. We're gonna pull it out of the box here, and I believe they sent this one, like, kitted out, ready to go. So I'm, like, super pumped to just be able to take this right to the bench and do some shooting. We'll see, we'll see how that plays out. Um, yeah, let's go ahead, and first of all, let's talk about the features. Um, if you guys don't know about the hammer, this was a gun that was in process of creation for a while and I got to shoot one of the first ones and then I was you know it really was fortunate to be able to shoot some of the different revisions as they went through and I'm really glad they took their time to bring out something that really worked well but what we're talking about here is a 50 cal monster of an air gun it's not real super long the design it's regulated so you have consistent shot velocity from shot to shot it's a real beast of a gun, guys. It is, it is really, really great. I was looking at their website, um, and it's running around like 950, 960 in that range. Um, so just under $1,000, which if you're looking at guns today, prices have gone up. Um, this started a little bit less expensive, but it makes sense that it's at that price point these days. And it's a hell of a nice gun. Uh, let's go ahead and crack it open, and then... Uh, I'll start looking through the bullet points, then we'll start talking about the specs. Um, they sent me this awesome case, too. I mean, this was really, really sweet. I don't know if this is something you can buy, um, but it's something that they sent me. So let's see what we got in here. All right. All right, bumping my GoPro up there. This is a big gun, so there it is. So I got some hats. I have to get that all formed up. I got some ammo and we have the gun. And the most, most importantly, what we have uh, is the new magazine. Um, what's gonna be the best way to do this, guys? Let me set this up, take all of this out maybe. Yeah, let's take all this out and we'll put it on the table. Let me do that. Give me a minute, I'll be right back. Okay, so let's get to it. This is the hammer, guys. This is a 50 cal monster of an air gun. Let's just walk through the bullet points. If you go to the website, this is what you're going to read off the website, right? Um, so for all you guys that aren't familiar with hunting with air guns, these are not BB guns, right? So these are shooting these all monsters of slugs. So that is a 50 cal slug. Show it to the camera up there. That's a 50 cal slug. And that's what this thing pushes out. And you're going to get upwards of 700 foot-pounds, plus or minus, depending on the weight. Um, the bottle fills to 4,500 PSI. It's regulated, so you're going to get, in my experience, about three really equal shots, and maybe with a fourth in reserve. Um, maybe that's better. I haven't shot this new one. So this has got all the goodies and features and upgrades and everything in it. So we'll see. The biggest thing that we have that was really cool... Um, with this model and this new revision, this really comes down to the magazine. Now, on this, the way it's set up, um, 
if you have a revolver, right? You would never grab the cylinder like when you shoot because gas is going to escape. Well, air escaped out of the side here. And as long as you kept your arm and things away from this part of the gun, you're fine. But inevitably, you're going to probably get bit once or twice. I know I did by that air coming out. Um, I'm, didn't it hurt me, but it did hurt, right? Well, they've got a new mag now that has a mechanism. Let's see if I can show it up here. But they've got like a sealing mechanism. So when this is inserted, it actually seals. And so you don't get the blow by anymore. This is what I'm super excited to go out and test because that I think is going to make the gun uh, more enjoyable to shoot, just bench shoot or hunt with. So let's look at the bullet points, right? So this thing will generates like big game power. They say big game power without powder. So it's not a firearm, guys. If you are watching this and you're thinking 50 cal air gun, yeah, right. Well, this is a 50 cal air gun that's no joke. They have hunted all kinds of cool stuff and taken all kinds of game with this. You're pushing some really serious power, 700 plus foot pounds. That's a lot of energy, right? So it's a true 50 caliber, so it's 0.510. It's pre-charged. So there's a, a cylinder right here. This fills with air and that stores the air and lets you take multiple shots off a single fill. Again, for you guys that know about air guns, I'm talking, you know, Rick, we already know that, but there's going to be people that watch this that have never thought of an air gun to hunt with, right? So maybe you, look, we all have a past. Sometimes uh, things happen that you need something else besides firearm to go hunt with. Uh, this is a great opportunity for you to go out and still have fun in the woods and do some hunting. So very, very cool. So operating fill pressures, um, 4,500, each shot's regulated to 3,000. So I was right. So three full power shots, fourth in reserve. So that's about what I've tested. That's what I got here in the bullet points here. So you've got a 24 inch um, carbon fiber tank. It's non-removable, so you can't take it out. You have a two round magazine. So if you had a couple of these, you could have one in the gun, one in your pocket. You're at least going to get, again, two full shots, a third shot, and a fourth as a backup if you need it. Where would that be handy? So if you're hunting deer, really that first shot's your, your money shot, right? you got to make that one count. But I've seen people hunt hogs, and hogs can be kind of dumb. Uh, this gun's going to generate some noise, but um, I've seen hogs watch their buddy fall and just stand there and still keep right on eating. So... Having multiple shots on tap means you have more opportunity to continue to take to continue to take game, and that is cool. So let me just check something on my audio real quick. Okay, I hate when I have an audio glitch in the middle of my video, but everything was fine, so forgive that. Anyway, um, so yeah, having the multiple shot magazine is it's kind of unique in a big bore at this power level. There are other big bores that have magazines and such. But I don't, I don't know of one off the top of my head that isn't single shot uh, producing this kind of power. So this is unique. As far as I know, at this point in time, uh, this is a, a unique feature to the hammer is that multi-shot uh, power output. It's pretty cool. Okay. Um, it's got three different safeties on it. Yeah, it's, um, that's important. Um, you want to make sure all of that works good. So straight pull uh, bolt with only eight pounds cocking effort. So that's this guy right here. Um, it is actually very easy to cock this gun, so that's awesome. And when we get to the range, we'll really talk about more of that stuff. Uh, let's see, two and a half pound trigger pull. It's got a, a pressure gauge. Um, it's got a pick rail for your scope. Also, it's got uh, M-lock channels, so if you want to put a, accessories, I will probably um, put an M-lock rail here and then be able to use a, a bipod. So that's probably how I would use this down at the bench. Um, Let's see, um, it's got a Magpul grip, so you can actually, it's an AR grip, you can swap that out if you want. Let's see, um, it's got an integrated rear, uh, is that true? Uh, it's, okay, uh, I may have to find the accessory, but it does have the ability to have a rear um, uh, sling stud. Uh, let's see, quick disconnect on the foster fitting, so you don't need a probe, it's just easy to fill. Anything else here? It's 43 and uh, three quarter inches long, eight and a half pounds. That sounds a little heavy uh, and it's not bad. Um, some of the other guns that I've shot, big bore stuff, um, they're really, they're actually longer. So the form factor on this, I, I would find very manageable. Now, Angie, who hunts with this religiously, 
is a short little thing, and she has no problem uh, managing this gun. So weight, I don't think, is a big deal. They put a really nice scope on this, by the way, 4 to 16 uh, Axion, so we'll have fun with that. Um, yeah, it's got a 1 in 24, 1, 1 colon 24, so 1 to 24 twist German-made barrel made by Walther, which is cool. Uh, it's got a, let's see, it's got a shroud. Uh, it's very loud, guys. I don't think there's, there, there's not a lot of sound suppression going on here. It's going to be a loud gun. I guess that's a lot of the bullet points. Let's take a look at the specs to see if there's anything here um, we want to talk about um, that wasn't already mentioned. Um, really comes down, for me, it comes down to energy. Uh, they're saying 700 foot-pounds with a 500 grain slug. Well, these aren't 500 grain. I don't know what these are. These are 350s, so we'll probably see mm, 550, 600 foot-pounds. We'll see if my if I, if my guess is correct. We get out to the range. Um, huh, but to put that into perspective, what can this gun take? Uh, yeah, whatever's legal take in your state with an air gun. Frankly, uh, this thing's a beast. It'll absolutely get a ton. And I've got some other ammo that I'm interested to try out uh, in different uh, weights and lengths and, and whatnot. So um, I'm super excited to get this in because I have some other ammo that was sent to me by another um, manufacturer. And they really want me to test it. I did not have a .510. Uh, I had a .495, which is your typical air gun 50 cal. But this is your true 50 cal. So it's point, um, .510 uh, caliber. So this is the real deal. Um, yeah, not a lot here that wasn't already mentioned other than they kind of specify where they're getting that energy from, and that's with a 550 grain slug. So you have a lot of uh, uh, slug range, weight, size, shape, all that kind of stuff. You have a lot of different options um, with this product. I think this is going to be a lot of fun to go out and play with again. It's been a while since I pulled the trigger on this. I remember the first time having a real... Uh, fun time as that thing rocks you. This thing will actually push you around a little bit. It's got pretty good recoil. It's different than a firearm. It's more of a push than a slap or a, a, a hit. So it's a little bit gentler that way, but it's still pretty significant, but it is a lot of fun. All right, let's go ahead and wrap this up, guys. Um, we're going to have fun with this. We're going to take out the range and verify all of their claims and see if it hits all the all the spec uh, spec points, um, maybe I'll have to find some 550 grain slugs just to see if we can get that 700. But I've come really close with lighter, of like 650 plus with lighter slugs. So I, I have no problem believing they hit the 700 plus. But I'm, I'm excited to get this out and start working with it again. I'm super excited about this new mag that you know mitigates that blow by. That's gonna be huge um, as far as I'm concerned. That was, that's a real plus. And <clears throat> yeah, accuracy has been good. Uh, it's a fun gun to shoot, and we're going to go get back to it. Uh, if you guys like what we're doing, please let us know in the comments. If you want to see more unboxings and other things, you know, let us know. If you guys want to see other content, let us know that too, and we'll do the best we can to pull some of that together. If you want to help support what we're doing, check out our Patreon page or also the Officers Club over at airgunarmy.com, and links to all that will be in the video description. Lastly, I want to say thank you to Umarex USA for sending this out. And uh, yeah, we're going to go get to it. we got more unboxings to do, so that's going to be it for now, guys. My name is Rick Uster here with Airgun Web, where we tell you the facts, not fluff. Thanks for watching.